Hello, I want to welcome you back to Norman Lecoq Rooster's Art. Uh, continue working on this Iron Man I have here. Uh, going back to the drawing board, just enhancing some of the colors that we have, try to get them brighter and right highlights and everything else that goes along with making this a good uh, drawing. Right now, I'm working on this section in here. That's the colors I'm using right there. That's the color wheel. And here we go. What I find in doing these with the program I'm using called Procreate, start off with a small area and work yourself on up to the bigger areas and keep the contrast as tight as possible and be mindful of the highlights. A little subtle, subtle highlights can make or break your drawing or painting, whatever it may be. And you need to come back and review what you have to make sure you're back on the right track, okay? I'm putting some highlights right in this section right here just to show the curvature. Like I said, little subtle details can make or break your painting or drawing. And sometimes you have to leave your drawing alone and come back the next day and you see some things you you hadn't even seen before. It it's happens. Uh, we imperfect beings, so we gotta take it for what it is. But come back and lay everything out. And these little subtle details will really make your painting as they say, pop or drawings. A little step at a time. Now, that area below, right here, it's really dark. And that's showing like absence of light. Whenever you see a, a dark area like that, it's not not much light is getting in that area, and it's going to have a different look. And the area that is gathering some light is this area right up in here. And it's again showing that curvature of that piece. And make your paintings or drawing fun. Uh, and enjoy them. Learn from your mistakes. And come back and just reiterate. Don't ever give up. Now I'm increasing the value to about 3% on this one right here. I'm coming in a little, little darker. Go gradual with your tones. I'm not pressing real hard. I just have it floating on top of this glass. You'll see once you start using Procreate. Just a little, as they say, let it flow. Then on this section here, it's going to be totally black. 
that's that shading coming in right through through this section right here it's going to be right over here and that's the transition Now you kind of see what I'm doing here. It's right at that edge right here. Just enjoy yourself, enjoy your work. You can come back and tweak it, back off from it. Let's say you get it right eventually. Now I'm just letting it drop on that glass and just pulling downward. That's all I'm actually doing and going in a circular motion right now. Excuse me that I'm shaking the camera a little bit. Now, pull back. That's that shadow, that transition. Going real light over here. I'm pressing down moderately, not too hard. Then I'm gonna have it come over back down again, right in here to finish with that transition. I, again, I apologize for the jitter. I'm actually holding this thing. I need to get a holder for it. So you kind of see the roadmap that I'm using up in this section here. And actually, I'm lightening some of the areas up. Uh, this is not for no one. It's just for my personal training to see whether or not I can, can do this. And it's good to practice on different types of subjects and just going to enhance your art abilities. Uh, so if you ever do get something like this to do, you, you're kind of in the ballpark. You know what you're going to be dealing with, price range, how much you're going to charge them. More or less, it works. And you can see how this is going to have the differentials between light and dark in the area. It's going to pull it out. The lighter, lighter areas are going to stand out more. The darker, darker areas are going to stand out less. And that's what you're trying to achieve. Just blend it on in. That little light transition between the two, the two objects when they meet. Um,
these videos, I have them short. And what I'm gonna do later on, I'm gonna combine them as a whole. And I'm doing them in, in segment, little short pieces. So you can kind of see exactly what I'm actually doing instead of whole. I know people time is very important and I'm trying to utilize my time and make this work where you can just hit, well, I wanna see just that clip and it's right there for you. Make sure that's dark enough right up in that section here. You want that to show pretty decent. I'm gonna come back right in this section right here. Just that little piece in here. See how I'm doing that? And then that little evident right in this section right here, I'm gonna pull that down right in this area here. Now, you're going to come back to your wheel. No, let's do it this way. A little gray. Grayer. On this back side, right here. Then I'm going to show you. Remember I was telling you about light and how it works. I'm gonna take that about right right up in here. Not too too bright, but just bright enough to pick it up. See how they did that? Just little simple things that we may see and may not see and come back for them. Use that same gray we did before. This area right here. Take your time. I'm going in a circular motion. do is a little bit darker. Once you start breaking down these, these areas and you begin to see more things than you did before. Working in a large larger scale it may bypass what you've seen. Let's see if you get a better, better view of what I'm doing right here. Okay. And back over here. Increase it just a little bit. I'm, I'm going to shade it up a little more.
back. Give it a little highlight right back in here again. And back to this section. And we're going to back off that. And see how that looks. We're going to back off of it. Seeing that area. Well, this is about this this segment about to end on this portion and when we come back we're going to be doing in this section right here we taking it in different sections for us to understand how tone value and shading and lighting and everything else come into play right i want to thank you again for watching Rooster's art under norman lecoq and take care and keep drawing and follow those roadmaps bye-bye